Hello everyone. This is part two of the repeating table video series, and this will be the last video of this series. Um, in the last video, in the part one, I showed you that how you can create a repeating table kind of scenario with multiple controls. Now, in this scenario, um, what I'm going to show you is there is one field only, which is let's say order number engine. In my case, this is just a label, and on um, for this, I want to create a repeating a repeating table or repeating control kind of scenario. So this is a scenario which I have developed. What it will do, I will click on add. So this particular container or pop-up will open. If I click on cancel, let's say this pop-up will go away. If I again click on add, this pop-up will come. I can add the multiple values in this particular container or pop-up. I can click on add. I can add more rows as well. I can cancel the rows and then I can click on add all which will close this pop up and as and when I am adding the values here this will get added in a chip kind of a control in a gallery. I have a clear button which will clear all these values and on the save on the click of the save button the values will be saved in a SharePoint online list. So this is the scenario which I am going to demonstrate today. Let's see this in action. Um, I'm just closing this preview window. Um, this is my screen, basically repeater single field uh, screen name. And then I have a column at the back end, which is SAP order number engine. Again, the 667 ID. This is a multiple line of text column. And here I am uh, saving the data in again a JSON format because this is a repeating table kind of scenario. So I am um, adding the data at the back end in a JSON format. Since only one value I am taking here, so only um, only the ID, two properties I have created in the JSON. One is ID and another is the order number. So let's see this in action in Power Apps, how I have developed it. So first of all, the screen on visible property. Uh, the same I have showed you in the part one that I am setting a ID. You can do it in a dynamic way as well. And then I'm creating a variable, a local variable with the parse JSON um, function. I am creating a local variable using the update context the local variable name is sap order number engine and i'm using the parse json function here now i'm doing a for all on that particular variable if uh, this well if, if this is having some values then i'm creating a collection a temporary collection basically and then this temporary collection values i'm putting in the one of the other collection so this i'm doing on the screen on visible property now, if I show you the structure particularly, let's start from uh, the very basic. This is the label. This is just a label control I have used. And then I have used a particular gallery. Now, this gallery I have used uh, basically two, two controls. One is the button control for which I have just changed um, some of the properties in terms of uh, border, border radius and border so that I can make it or look it like a chip control. And then I have used an uh, image here, uh, a cross button so that I can cancel it as well. For that, I am just using a remove if um, function for both the collections, SAP numbers and SAP number temp. Now, this is the gallery. Now, there is something called clear button. On the clear button, I am just clearing uh, both these collections. It's very simple and straightforward. Now, this is the most important part of this video. On the button, click add. So, add is a button which will open the pop-up basically. I am using uh, again a local variable using the update context where show engine pop-up true. And then I am using a condition if condition here that if the count rows in this collection is zero, then you create a collection else you create another collection. So this is again a very simple code on the uh, on select property of the button I am using. Now you see here on the on select click of this add button, this particular pop-up or the container opens. I am using a container here. Um, I have added all these controls within this container and this container visible property is basically set to that particular variable which I have created on the click of the add button. Now inside this container you can see again I am using a label which is the header title, a simple rectangle for the separation, a simple button to click add more rows basically. So I am using again a on select um, on select property of this particular button using simple uh, if condition. So I'm just doing the count rows. I am creating a collection if the rows is equal to zero. Else I am doing a patch. Basically, I am increasing the ID by one. 
and then um, there are other two buttons which I have used here inside another container. So basically, this is the gallery which I have used. You can see this is a gallery control. Now in this gallery control, um, there is uh, a text box which I have used and then an image which I have used. The text box is used for entering the values and this image is used so that user can um, delete or cancel the row as well. So this is just a gallery which I have used and I am using the collection SAP engine number on this particular gallery items property. Another two buttons which I have used is the cancel button which will basically close the pop-up. pop, pop -up. So I am just doing a, some of the update context here for those variables. Basically I am doing update context that I want to close the pop-up. So I am doing where show add engine pop-up as false basically. And there is the last add button which will add basically inside um, the collection all the values which user has added. So again, I am using update context here, a local variable. I am clearing the um, collection which has been created and I am doing a for all on my gallery. Now this gallery, gallery engine number pop-up is basically the one which is getting um, inside the container. Please remember this. So on the on select of this basically add button, I am doing a for all on the gallery items and then again uh, update context I am creating uh, again a variable and then checking some conditions if that variable is false or true and then at the end closing that pop up again. So um, these are the uh, basically the logic which has been used. So let's see this in action now. So you can see here currently four values are added. I can click on cancel. I can uh, delete one of the row and I can click on add add all. And then you can see in this gallery only three items are visible. I can even click on one of the item and cancel it from the gallery. I have clicked it. If I again click on add, you see only two values are visible because only two values are there in my gallery. I can show you adding one more new um, new row uh, in the repeating section basically. Uh, one more thing I have implemented here that the characters or words are not allowed here. Only numbers are uh, allowed. I can click on add all. You can see here that this is the new item which I have added. If I click on clear all, then it will clear the complete gallery. Um, if I click on save now, what will happen that it will add three uh, rows at the back end. So let me click on save. I have just added this number 4324324. And then if I look at the back end, I just refresh it. And if I um, refresh the back end list, you can see the new item has been added in my SharePoint online list in the JSON format. So that is how you can uh, basically add uh, the repeating section with the single control also in Power Apps. Thanks for watching this video.